Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to be talking about body shape editing, which is how to reshape the body in Photoshop. To start editing the body shape, all you have to do is to press Ctrl G on your keyboard. Then you go to Filter and you look for Liquify. The shortcut for liquify to is shift control plus X on your keyboard. So once you press shift control and X on your keyboard, the liquify section is just going to open. Or remember, you can go to filter, then liquify. And I'm just going to allow the liquify to load. And you can see once the liquify section has load, you have to use this tool, the forward wrap tool. This forward wrap tool can be used to press the body as in you can use it to press the waist and you can use it to push the body part or to push the waist for example if i click on this forward wrap tool then i use this tool to left click and drag you can see what is happening to the waist once i left click and drag you can see i can drag it in too much let's go to the next waist and let's just drag it like this you can see what's happening to the waist so you can use this forward wrap to to adjust the body part you can use it to push in or push out the body part let's just use the word push in or push out so you can also bring out this waist or you can push it in and let's look at the before and the after to check your before and the after you have to just press p and it will change or you just go to this preview then turn it off and turn it on turn it off and turn it on so once we are done with the waist, let's go to our hips. So for this hips area, I'm just going to increase the size of my forward wrap too. Let's increase the size. Then let's bring out the hips a little bit. So I'm just going to bring out this area a little bit. And let's also make her slim. Let's look at the before and the after. But the hand is looking long. The hand at this area is looking long. So what I'm just going to do here now is to reduce the forward wrap too then let's reduce the hand a little bit because the hand is long if you are done using your forward wrap tool there are other tools now that you can use we are going to use this bloat tool to increase the chest so i'm just going to increase the size of this bloat tool you can see the use of it once we just left click and hold you will see what is happening to our chest if i left click and hold this is the before this is the after let's go to the next chest area I'll just left click and hold. You can see what is happening. If I keep pressing it, it will become more bigger and bigger. Let's look at the before and the after. This is the before and this is the after. So the next tool we'll be using now is this other tool, which is the poker tool, P-U-C-K-E-R. So once I click on this poker tool, let's just reduce the size of her stomach. You can see what is happening. I'm kind of reducing the size of her stomach. You can see so this is the tool that you can use to fix your body shape and fix any kind of body shape in photoshop this is the before and this is the after you can see that we have been able to fix her stomach her chest and her waist but i'm not yet done keep watching to the ending so you will become more perfect so i'm just going to go back to my forward wrap tool to increase this side let's just increase it a little bit and let's also increase this elapse. Let's go down also and increase it a little bit because you cannot just increase the hips and leave the laps. It will look fake. For now, we are done with this liquify tool. So I'm just going to click OK. And once you click on OK, it will just apply in your image. You will see the result. This is the before. Let's turn off this layer. And this is the after. This is the before. And this is the after. The next tool we'll be using for this stomach is the dodge and bone. The reason the stomach looks like this is because of the highlights and the shadows. So you can use your dodge and bone to fix these highlights and shadows. So if you have not gotten the Studio Magic Retouching Pack, you should get it by clicking the link in the description of this video. So once you click the link in the description of this video, you'll be able to get all my dodge and bone actions that you can use. So without wasting your time, I'm not going to be doing the dodge and bone process in this video. So you can watch my previous videos to learn how to do dodge and bone. What I'm just going to do now in this video is that I'm just going to go to Windows, 
select actions so once i select actions you'll see dirty magic actions if you don't have it click the link in the description of this video to get it then you install it and after you have installed it just go to your photoshop actions you will see it just click on micro dodge and bone once the dodge and bone are shown select your brush click on the bone and once you click on the bone increase the size of your brush then you burn the light part of the image as in the light part of the stomach just burn it a little bit then you go to your dodge then you dodge it well as in you dodge the dark part of the image remember why edit your image you don't need to do this thing i'm doing this is the opposite of dodge and burn to use your dodge and burn you have to burn the dark part and dodge the light part but if you are fixing a big stomach something like this you have to burn the lighter part and you have to dodge the darker part now dodging the darker part should be too much than burning the lighter part you can see what i'm doing i'm dodging the darker part i'm removing those dark spots below her stomach so her stomach is not going to look big instead it will look flat so I'm using this my dodge tool to adjust everything. You can see what I'm doing. This is the before and this is the after. Let's zoom in our image. This is the before and this is the after. You can see that in the before, this highlight in our stomach has made the stomach to look big. But with our dodge and bone effects, we are able to adjust it and fix those highlights and the shadows to make the stomach look normal. So what I'm just going to do now is to merge all these layers together. And let's look at the before and the after. For all what we have done on this beautiful image, this is the before, this is the after, this is the before, this is the after. Let's zoom out our image. This is the before, this is the after. Let's zoom in the image and look at the stomach. This is the before and this is the after. You can see that our image is now looking amazing and our image is looking better. And we are done with this tutorial. Thank you for watching. If this video was very helpful to you, subscribe for more videos. Turn on notifications so YouTube will notify you when I upload a new video. And leave a like to help the channel out.